Earth is the only place in the universe where we know for sure that there's life. But what about elsewhere in the solar system? I'm going to be looking at five of our neighboring worlds where we might find evidence of life, either past or present. And I'm going to give you these in reverse order from fifth to first. We come to number one on my list and I was going to put this one a little bit further down the list but in the end I, I, I had to put it top. I think if somebody said where would you put your money on any world in the solar system where you think we're most likely to find life I'd have to go with this one and of course it's Mars. Mars the red planet. I suppose Mars will always have a place in our imagination because of its link with intelligent Martians and this goes back to the 1870s, 1880s when some astronomers thought they could see through their telescopes waterways on Mars and very soon the idea developed from this that perhaps those waterways were artificial that in fact they were canals that brought meltwater from the frozen poles or melting around the poles to the arid desert regions of the planet. And then, of course, it's a short step. If you have canals, you must have canal builders. Therefore, there's an advanced race of Martians uh, trying to eke out a living on a dying world. Well, sadly, we don't believe in intelligent Martians anymore. But could Mars have had life in the past? And if it did, is their life still there today? Mars was once friendlier in the past than it is now. It was warmer, it was wetter. We know these things for sure. We know there were bodies of water on Mars, including a shallow ocean. There were rivers. It was warmer, the atmosphere was thicker. It was a much more clement place three and a half to four billion years ago. So life may have developed there. And if it did, if it did develop there, does it survive there today? That's the question we still want to know. It's still an open question. We've been to Mars many times. Various spacecraft have been there, flown by it, gone into orbit, landed, roved around, and still the question needs to be answered. Does Mars have life? Did Mars have life? Well, there's not much chance that there's life right on the surface because it's very, very cold on Mars. Colder than Antarctica most of the time. Very little atmosphere, thin carbon dioxide atmosphere. And harsh radiation from the sun. And also some toxic chemicals, perchlorates in the surface soil. It makes it kind of unlikely that we're going to find anything living on the surface. but is there life underground? We know there's life deep underground in rocks on Earth. Is there life deep down on Mars? That's the question. There are some interesting observations. For example, methane has been found in the atmosphere of Mars. It's patchy. It occurs here and there, and it seems to vary on a seasonal basis, which is interesting, but it could have a geological explanation as well. Of course, we need to go and have a closer look, and that's going to happen because in February of 2021, NASA will launch its Perseverance rover, which will go to Mars, it will land, and it will trundle around, and it will drill samples, and it will leave these samples on the surface. And you might think, why does it do that? What's the point of that? Well, in the future, other spacecraft or another spacecraft will go there, will collect these samples that have been left around, and hopefully bring them back to Earth so we can analyze them in the laboratory because that's the best way to do it. But there's also another rover going there. This is the European Rosalind Franklin rover, due for launch, I think, in 2024. And it is also a rover. It will move around and it will drill samples up to two meters deep. And it will analyze these samples in its onboard laboratory, looking for chemicals that are the signatures of life or possible building blocks of life 
and that's going to be very exciting indeed. There are my five top picks for life in the solar system.